We can run, we can hide, but we can't escape the adorable love story of singer-songwriter Enrique Iglesias and former tennis player Anna Kornikova. The couple met while playing love interests in the singer's music video, and the rest is history. Even though they've been together for 22 years, fans are dying to know. Are Enrique and Anna married yet? Enrique Iglesias and Anna Kornikova met back in 2001. At the time, Anna was tearing up the tennis courts, and Enrique had dropped his hit album, Escape. He announced that the blonde would feature in one of his music videos, which caused a bit of excitement among their fans. I know it sounds kind of Hollywood, but we met, we met on, on the video. Oh, you uh, met I on the video? video. Where I did a video for a song called Escape, and, yeah. and that's how we met. The pair hadn't met before, but it's common for celebrities to appear in music videos. Kornikova was in her sporting prime, making numerous TV appearances, and let's not forget that she's drop-dead gorgeous. I'm a big fan. I'm sure a lot of guys want to meet her. I'm one of them. She's beautiful, talented, a great tennis player, you know? And I'm sure she's going to be great in the video, Iglesias said. In the escape video, Anna played coy against Enrique's advances before ending up in a steamy makeout session. Well, sure, it's Anna Kornikova. Who could complain? But she, you she, really... she was great. I mean, she was so professional. Uh, uh, I was a little afraid because I didn't know what to expect. It was the first time fans caught a glimpse of the pair's electric chemistry. Their evident spark led to the speculation that the two would have a fling, but no one anticipated that the music video would seal the deal on this love story. Ever since 2001, the couple have been by each other's side. Maybe they weren't acting after all. Since the beginning of Iglesias and Kornikova's romance, they have been relatively quiet about their relationship. The Spanish songwriter was never really one to speak about his personal life, and it just so happens that his lover is the same. They flew under the radar for a bit before making their romance official. Well, celebrity official. In August 2002, Enrique and Anna walked their first red carpet together at the MTV Music Awards. They looked so happy together. Later that year, they were seen at the Once Upon a Time in Mexico film premiere. Fans began wondering if Anna would be Enrique's endgame, and the more we saw them together, the clearer it became. These two are super serious about each other. Two years later, the lovebirds sparked engagement rumors when Kornikova was spotted wearing a large pink diamond ring at a world tennis match. The rumors circulated quickly, and in no time, fans were talking about how the couple had secretly wed in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. However, People Magazine reported that the rumors were false. By 2007, fans assumed Enrique and Anna were over because the heartthrob said as much from his interview with a Swedish newspaper. We're divorced. I am single now, but that's okay. I don't mind being alone, he said. The news was shocking because he and the beauty seemed so in love. A month before, the singer expressed that his romance with Kornikova was the only serious relationship I've had in my life. When asked if he could picture a future with the tennis star, he responded, the only thing I can say is that in my opinion, Anna, whether we are together or not, would be an ideal mother. The interview made fans even more confident that the pair would be together forever. So it was a sad moment when Iglesias said he was single. It didn't help that the couple kept a low profile because not seeing them together cemented the idea that they were over. However, his reps later confirmed that the singer was only joking, and a source close to the couple assured fans that they didn't break up and are still together. That was not a good joke, Enrique. By their fifth year of romance, the pair were still going strong. Many began asking Anna when she and her partner planned on tying the knot. After all the commotion surrounding their fake engagement and the constant questions about marriage, the couple had to make it clear that they had no plans to get hitched. I'm never getting married, Anna said in 2008, adding that everything was good in the relationship. Days later, Iglesias confirmed his partner's reluctance to tie the knot. He told reporters he'd been trying to convince Kornikova to marry him for years. I always try, but she pays me no attention, the singer explained. He later said that marriage never seemed like an essential step because, in Enrique's eyes, a piece of paper says nothing about his love for Anna. The now 47-year-old also explained that because he comes from divorced parents, the weight of marriage isn't that strong in his life. 
As long as he and Anna are happy, that's all that matters. The singer also said that nowadays, having kids and being unmarried is not taboo. What makes a difference is that you're a good parent, period, he added. As the years progressed and the pair grew a deeper bond, Kornikova began thinking about motherhood. She had already retired from tennis, having suffered a severe back injury in 2003, so her career was no issue. In 2011, the blonde opened up about wanting to become a mom. I absolutely want to have children, whether I have my own or adopt. I love taking care of people, she said. Six years later, the couple welcomed twins, Nicholas and Lucy. The pair dropped the news when they both shared snaps of their babies on Instagram. Fans quickly flocked to social media to look for signs that the couple was expecting, but they hid it so well. Enrique is a well-known singer, and Anna is no stranger to cameras either. Being famous, the two needed a space only for themselves. For me, my personal life, I do try to keep it as private as possible because I need that balance, the Madrid native explained. It's the same for Anna. According to the singer's mom, Isabel Preisler, Kornikova didn't intentionally hide her pregnancy from the media and the public. Preisler explained that her daughter-in-law is a homebody and leads a very simple life. She just prefers keeping a low profile. Though both Enrique and Anna had shared photos of their twins, they had yet to say much about the experience until March 2018. I want them to do whatever is going to make them happy. I'm, I'm going to be hopefully a, a cool, easygoing dad. Yeah. The singer took the stage in Budapest, Hungary, where he discussed his newfound fatherhood with fans. Enrique gushed about being a dad for 12 weeks and shared that there were two things he was sure of. He loves his babies and his girl very much. How sweet. Although it seemed that all was bliss for the lovebirds, the songwriter confessed that they also went through their fair share of struggles. Like any couple, you still go through your ups and downs when you become parents. And it's not always perfect, but it is perfect in a way, Iglesias said. Two years later, just before the pandemic hit, the couple welcomed their third baby, a little girl named Mary. Enrique announced her arrival by sharing an adorable photo of himself holding the newborn at the hospital. The singer opened up about his growing family, saying the twins were excited about being older siblings. He confessed that he was a little scared about how Lucy and Nicholas would react, but then added, they actually love it. Much like their relationship, Enrique and Anna also keep their children away from the spotlight. Though there are some occasions when the proud parents can't help but show off their adorable little squad. For the singer's 47th birthday, Anna shared a rare photo of their lovely family. Happy birthday to the most amazing dad. We super love you, she captioned the sweet picture. In 2023, Iglesias and Kornikova will be together for 22 years. It's widely believed that opposites attract, but it seems it's the reverse for these two. The former tennis pro said it's not easy being together for so many years, but she and her beau understand each other deeply. He's the male version of me, and I'm kind of the female version of him, Kornikova explained. By the way, did you know that in 2014, Iglesias revealed that his famous father, Julio Iglesias, had yet to meet Kornikova? He said that all those years spent with his lover had just flown by, and that's truly the only way the singer could explain why his dad and partner hadn't met. There's no reason why. It's not his fault, and it's not my fault, the heartthrob shared. We wonder if they've met yet. Even though Enrique Iglesias and Anna Kornikova aren't married, there's nothing but love between them. The two have stayed committed to each other for over two decades, and are now loving parents to three beautiful children. As the singer put it, all that matters is they're happy and doing their best to be great parents. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We'd love it if you could share our channel with your loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. Be well and be kind.